Hello everybody, I'm reporting an emergency video from some fort in Jaipur. But we're basically having an emergency situation because Mark Leja has done got busted. There's another creator on YouTube named um, Tal Tyler Olivias, Olivier, I don't really know. I'll put his, I'll put his thing right here. Um, what you're looking at is the city of Jaipur, I believe, but anyway, Mark Leach done got busted because he had started this GoFundMe, and like I said, I already made a video about this on my channel called the Soft White Scandals of Soft White Underbelly or something like that, Soft White Scandals of Mark Leach or something like that, and I already made a video about it and I already said, what is he doing with all this GoFundMe? What is he doing with all this GoFundMe money? Because it isn't really clear he closes them down he starts them back up it's not really clear what he's doing and so it's done hit the fan with the Whitakers he has raised over a hundred thousand dollars for the Whitakers and in particular I think it looks like he's raised over a hundred twenty thousand dollars specifically to help them get a house well there's this other creator Tyler what's his name Tyler something and he was trying to get in touch with the Whitaker. So he has like 5 million subscribers on YouTube. He's like a bunch of subscribers on YouTube. And basically, um, he wanted to get in touch with the Whitakers to help them because he, like millions of people at this point, feel bad for them. So Mark's assistant, Noel, which is very interesting because his last assistant's name was L, and her voice sounds exactly the same. Very interesting to me. But Noel emails Tyler back and says, look, listen, um, we actually have an exclusive with the Whitakers. So um, thanks for thinking of us, but we are exclusively going to be able to only be the ones helping the Whitakers. We can't give you their information. We can't give you their contact info. We can't give you their number. No. Oh, also, we're going to be making a TV show with a broadcast network. So that was weird. Well, ended up being Tyler Olivier ended up uh, getting in touch with him anyway. Well, he went to their house when he went to their house he ended up um asking him about the gofundme and he asked betty i think her name is one of the whitakers he's like um what about this gofundme money for your house because mark has started two gofundmes at least for the whitakers one of them just generally to help them and then one of them he started to uh buy him a house well this tyler guy is like so what about this house go fund me and betty's like i don't know what you're talking about uh how is the house coming along what house uh the i don't know what house what do you have for mark about the house what did mark say about the house Paige wants to get an update i don't know okay do you think he's more well, probably we ain't got no more money in there i don't know okay from, from my understanding, there's like, I don't know, fifty or sixty thousand dollars in there. Has Mark given you guys an update? No. Well, no, no, nothing. We don't know anything about no house. Go fund me. And that's basically where Mark got busted. And she done hit the fan. So Mark never did make any videos specifically responding to any of my allegations, never did make any videos responding to Rabbit's allegations, even though together we have well over a hundred well over 200,000 subscribers. It wasn't until somebody who had a bigger follower count than Mark Leta actually criticized him that he started actually saying stuff back. And he comes on the video and he's like, some guy named Tyler Oliver investigates, no baby, you got me and Tyler confused with each other. You're so obsessed with me. Not everybody's channel's name is something investigates. You, you was thinking of me though, that's sweet. I know you do before you go to bed at night and before you wake up in the morning. But anyway, so I still have the question too, where's the money going? Well, this put Mark Leta in a position where he ended up having to come out and make a video. And he's basically saying, Tyler Olivier accused me of being a scammer. And for that reason, I'm not even gonna help the Whitakers anymore and all of this. Every, every few weeks, I'm getting another phone call. We need more money, we need more money, we need more money. And I wire transfer it to Betty. I'll show you a uh, screenshot of my bank account and all the wire transfers that I've sent to Betty. These are all going from my account to Betty Whitaker's account. So even though we've generated, I think the, the earlier GoFundMe had about 77,000 before we ended it. And then this one currently now has 55. The one for the house has 55. Totals, what, uh, 120, 130,000 roughly. Um, keep in mind that that money still, we, we still need to pay tax on that money. Somebody needs. But in my opinion, this whole thing is 
perhaps a little bit of an op. And I'm not talking about Tyler. Good on Tyler for actually saying something. And thank you, Tyler. I don't know if Tyler saw my video or not, but it's very hard to believe that he didn't because my whole entire first video on BJ Investigates about Mark Leighton is about these GoFundMes. Where's the money going to? What is this house situation with the Whitakers and what's really going on? Well, Mark comes on and he's like, well, Tyler called me a scammer and I'm not going to be able to help the Whitakers anymore. And then Tyler made a response video to it. Well, Tyler's saying, uh, anything that happened between the Whitakers and Mark Leita is not my fault because all I was doing was sitting here asking questions. And it's true. The only thing he was doing was asking questions. He was not going out of his way to call Mark Leita a scammer. In his video, he did not say Mark Leita was pocketing any money. He did not say that Mark Leita was doing anything untoward. What he said was, I'm curious. Where is the standing on this house situation? Because Tyler said, when I went over there to them, uh, the Whitakers said they had no idea about anything having to do with a house. They had no idea about a house. So Mark Leighton on his video is like, well, I've been giving them all the money, um, except for, you know, nearly 40% that he's withholding to allegedly pay taxes, which I'd like to see the IRS refunds. I would like to see it before I believe that story but basically mark's like well i did start the gofundme and it did say that they you know needed a house but basically he admits i didn't give him the money for a house i just gave it to him because they'd been asking for other stuff they've been asking for a car they've been asking for fourteen thousand dollars for something else whatever whatever but this whitaker lady she said she never even heard anything about a, a house fund and she actually also said i thought that money was coming from you i had no idea that that was coming from some type of fund from fans or anything like that. So Mark is now saying he's shutting it down. He's not helping the Whitakers anymore with GoFundMe money because of Tyler's video. And it's like, girl, if you don't wanna help them no more, just say that. If you can't handle the heat of the GoFundMe questions, just say that. But don't act like Tyler's video asking very valid questions is somehow some way the reason that you're not gonna keep a GoFundMe going anymore. It's stupid, it's untoward. And I do wanna say one other thing. The top comment is something like, Oh, well, in Europe, listen, first of all, we have America because y'all was fucking up in Europe. All right. The whole reason America exists is because y'all didn't know how to act when giving people freedoms over there. OK, so whatever y'all doing in Europe, that's cute. Keep it over there. We have America for, for the reasons of as follows. In Europe, it's common to take away somebody's rights and appoint them a guardian so that they can decide how that person spends their money. That's the top comment. And she's basically, or he's basically saying, yeah, we should take away the Whitaker's rights. No, no, because they're not, because they're not spending donated money the way that y'all want them to spend it. They should not have their rights. The Whitakers were minding their damn business in the Appalachian Mountains before Mark Leita thrusted them into international fame before Mark Leita took up money, hundreds of thousands of dollars in their name. Maybe it's Mark Leita that needs the guardianship. Why is Mark Leita handing over hundreds of thousands of dollars to people that obviously don't spend the money how the people are saying that it's supposed to be being spent? People are saying, give this money to the Whitakers for a house. And what is he giving it to them for? A car, a food? No. When people donate money for something, that's what you spend the money on. That's why I started a whole entire separate bank account for my legal fund. You can donate in the description box below. Thank you very much because of Mark Leita's friends suing me trying to take away my First Amendment rights. I'm noticing a pattern here. I'm noticing a pattern here. Nobody wants people to have rights. That's what I'm noticing. Because Mark Leita made these people famous, now y'all think y'all get to take away their rights. It's disgusting and deplorable. It's detestable and something's wrong with y'all. But anyway, I am actually glad that Mark Leita's going to put the GoFundMe stuff to rest because I don't think he's been spending the money how he's been saying he's spending the money. And in fact, and indeed, he just admitted that. Yeah, I did start a GoFundMe for the purpose of a house. And yeah, I didn't give the Whitakers the money for the purpose of a house. But now you guys ruined it. Oh, you can't have it. We're saving it for a house. So I give them the money. Sometimes it's 5,000, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's six, or one time it was 14, sometimes it's three or two, but it adds up. Every, every few weeks, I'm getting another phone call. We need more money, we need more money, we need more money. I'm sick of his whining. He needs to go skedaddle somewhere. Oh, there was one more thing. Mark Leita came around and said, I didn't want to give anybody the Whitaker's contact information because I just don't want to do that. I can't be, I had to make up a fake excuse, which I think he was basically realizing that he had gotten busted by saying that he had something going on with this exclusive. 
this exclusive broadcasting situation and all that. I think he realized, oops, busted. Now that's public information. Didn't expect that to be public. I don't know. I'm speculating. But let's just say it was an excuse. And he's saying, I don't want to give people the Whitaker's contact information. I don't want to tell people everybody's contact information. You know what? That really grinds my gears because he told everybody exactly how to find a 13 year old literally a little girl told him the exact intersection where to find her told him the prices they could pay whenever they found her told him her name that she goes by every single thing about this girl her mother's name her mother's boyfriend's name we knew everything about nova a 12 13 year old little girl who he put on his channel literally naked you could see her breasts her areolas he had no problem telling us her contact information so is it only the people that he has exclusive broadcasting agreements with that he doesn't want to give their contact information is it only people who aren't going to be able to be sexually exploited that he doesn't want to give their contact information. I don't understand why it is we had to get Nova's contact information, Tanea's contact information, but we can't have the Whitaker's contact information. Leave down in the comments below what you think it might be. That's all I really have for today. Jai home. Facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mina. Goodbye.